The Road Less Traveled by M. Scott Peck is a thought-provoking book that explores the path to personal growth, spiritual development, and fulfilling relationships. Published in 1978, it continues to resonate with readers seeking guidance and understanding in their lives. Peck starts by presenting the idea that life is difficult and that accepting this reality is the first step towards growth. He introduces the concept of discipline, emphasizing that it is through discipline that we can confront and overcome challenges. Delayed gratification, the ability to endure short-term pain for long-term gain, is a key aspect of discipline that Peck emphasizes throughout the book. The author dives into the importance of taking responsibility for our own lives and choices. He highlights the significance of honesty, integrity, and owning up to our actions. By accepting responsibility, we gain control over our lives and open the door to personal growth. Peck delves into the topic of love, distinguishing between falling in love and real love. Falling in love, he argues, is often an infatuation based on projection and idealization. Real love, on the other hand, requires effort, commitment, and the willingness to face challenges. He stresses the importance of active love, which involves extending oneself for the spiritual and emotional growth of both oneself and others. Throughout the book, Peck addresses the importance of self-awareness and self-examination. He encourages readers to reflect on their beliefs, values, and the impact of their actions on themselves and others. By understanding ourselves, we can make conscious choices aligned with our true selves and avoid self-deception. Peck explores the dynamics of human relationships, emphasizing that true intimacy requires honest and open communication. He discusses the role of empathy, listening, and understanding in building healthy connections with others. Furthermore, he tackles the complexities of familial relationships, addressing the impact of childhood experiences on our adult lives and the importance of healing past wounds. In the latter part of the book, Peck touches on the spiritual dimension of life. He explores the concept of grace, describing it as a force that can guide and transform our lives. He discusses the role of religion, spirituality, and the quest for meaning in our individual journeys. The Road Less Traveled concludes with a call to embrace the challenges of life and to take the less traveled path towards personal growth and fulfillment. Peck emphasizes that this journey requires effort, discipline, and the willingness to face our fears and confront the unknown. Overall, The Road Less Traveled offers a blend of psychological insights, spiritual wisdom, and practical advice for individuals seeking personal development and a more meaningful existence. It invites readers to embark on a journey of self-discovery, self-discipline, and genuine love, encouraging them to make choices that lead to personal growth and a richer, more fulfilling life. The first section of the book is titled Discipline. In this section, we introduce the fundamental concept of discipline as a crucial tool for personal growth and overcoming life's challenges. We acknowledge the inherent difficulties and hardships that accompany life. Accept this reality rather than avoiding or denying it. By recognizing and embracing the fact that life is filled with problems, we can set ourselves on a path towards personal development. There is a transformative power in discipline. Discipline is not synonymous with punishment or restriction, but rather a means of confronting and overcoming obstacles. Through discipline, we cultivate the resilience and strength necessary to face the trials and tribulations that life presents. A key aspect of discipline is delayed gratification. Resist immediate pleasures or temptations in order to achieve long-term benefits. Delayed gratification requires us to prioritize our long-term goals and values over short-term impulses. By practicing delayed gratification, we develop self-discipline and strengthen our willpower, enabling us to make choices aligned with our deeper aspirations. Delayed gratification is very beneficial in various domains of life, such as education, career advancement, and relationships, delaying immediate rewards and investing in long-term efforts. We can accomplish meaningful goals, foster fulfilling relationships, and experience greater satisfaction in our journeys. Take responsibility for our lives. True growth and fulfillment come from acknowledging our own agency and actively making choices that align with our values and aspirations. By accepting responsibility for our actions, we gain control over our lives and open doors to personal development. By embracing the challenges of life and cultivating discipline, delayed gratification, and personal responsibility, we embark on the road less traveled. 
a path that leads to personal growth, resilience, and a more fulfilling existence. The Road Less Traveled encourages readers to embrace the difficulties of life as opportunities for growth, to resist instant gratification, and to make conscious choices that align with their values. By doing so, individuals can cultivate discipline, navigate challenges, and forge a path towards personal development, resilience, and a more authentic and meaningful life. The first chapter of the book is called Problems and Pain. The book is most famous for its first sentence. Life is difficult, Peck confronts the fundamental truth that life is filled with difficulties. By acknowledging this reality, he sets the stage for exploring the path to personal growth and fulfillment. Peck introduces the concept of discipline as a key tool for navigating life's challenges. He emphasizes that discipline is not merely about punishment or restriction, but rather a means of confronting and overcoming obstacles. Through discipline, we can develop the resilience and strength needed to face the inevitable struggles that come our way. One crucial aspect of discipline that Peck highlights is delayed gratification. This concept involves the willingness to endure short-term discomfort or sacrifice for the sake of long-term benefits and personal development. It requires us to resist immediate temptations and instead make choices that align with our long-term goals and values. By embracing the idea of delayed gratification and discipline, we empower ourselves to rise above instant gratification and make choices that contribute to our growth. Peck encourages us to embrace the challenges and difficulties of life rather than avoiding or denying them. He asserts that true growth comes through the process of facing and overcoming adversity. In this section, Peck sets the stage for the transformative journey that lies ahead. By recognizing that life is not meant to be easy, we are motivated to cultivate discipline, exercise self-control, and make choices that align with our values and aspirations. It is through this conscious effort that we embark on the road less traveled, forging a path towards personal growth, resilience, and a more fulfilling existence. In the second part of the book, Delaying Gratification, we delve deeper into the concept of delayed gratification and its significance in our lives. He explores the idea that the ability to delay gratification is a crucial factor in personal growth and success. Peck emphasizes that delayed gratification requires us to resist the impulse for immediate satisfaction and instead make choices that prioritize long-term benefits. It involves the willingness to endure temporary discomfort or sacrifice in the present for the sake of future rewards. The author highlights that our society often promotes instant gratification, fueling desires for quick fixes and immediate pleasures. However, he argues that succumbing to these temptations can hinder our personal development and lead to dissatisfaction in the long run. By practicing delayed gratification, we develop self-discipline and strengthen our willpower. We become better equipped to make choices aligned with our deeper values and aspirations, rather than being swayed by fleeting impulses. This ability to withstand momentary desires allows us to pursue meaningful goals and engage in actions that contribute to our growth and well-being. He asserts that the ability to delay gratification is essential for accomplishing long-term goals, nurturing fulfilling relationships, and experiencing greater satisfaction and fulfillment in the journey of life. In this second section, Peck lays the groundwork for understanding the power of delayed gratification in shaping our lives. By cultivating this ability, we empower ourselves to make choices that align with our values, foster personal growth, and lead to a more meaningful and fulfilling existence on the road less traveled. In the third chapter, Peck explores the concept of the sins of the father and the impact of our familial relationships on our lives. He delves into the idea that our upbringing and the dynamics within our family of origin can have a profound influence on our adult experiences and relationships. Peck acknowledges that childhood experiences shape our understanding of the world and ourselves. The patterns of behavior and belief systems we observe and internalize from our parents or caregivers and deeply affect our psychological well-being and interpersonal interactions. We examine the notion that dysfunctional or unhealthy family dynamics can lead to unresolved emotional wounds that persist into adulthood. These wounds, if left unaddressed, can impact our ability to form healthy connections with others and hinder our personal growth. Peck emphasizes the importance of healing the wounds of the past through self-reflection, introspection, and when necessary, seeking professional help. By examining our family history and recognizing patterns or unhealthy dynamics, 
we can gain insights into ourselves and break free from negative cycles. We are also encouraged to take responsibility for our own lives, regardless of our upbringing. While we may have been influenced by the sins of our fathers, it is within our power to make conscious choices and chart a different course for ourselves. By acknowledging and working through our own unresolved pain, we can liberate ourselves from the burdens of the past and move towards a healthier and more fulfilling future. Peck emphasizes that this journey of healing and self-discovery requires courage, honesty, and a willingness to confront uncomfortable truths. By addressing the sins of the Father within ourselves and actively seeking personal growth, we can break the cycle and create healthier relationships and a more positive legacy for future generations. Peck has shed light on the significant impact of our familial experiences on our adult lives. By recognizing and addressing the wounds of the past, we can pave the way for healing, personal transformation, and the ability to forge healthier, more authentic connections as we continue our journey on the road less traveled. The fourth chapter, Problem Solving and Time. We delve into the topics of problem solving and the significance of time in our lives. We explore how our approach to problem solving and our relationship with time impact our personal growth and overall well-being. We emphasize the importance of confronting problems rather than avoiding or denying them. Problems are an intrinsic part of life, and our ability to address them directly and effectively is crucial for personal development. By recognizing problems as opportunities for growth, we can approach them with a mindset of curiosity and resilience. We highlight the necessity of time in problem solving. Finding solutions to complex issues often requires patience, reflection, and a long-term perspective we caution against seeking quick fixes or rushing through problem-solving processes, as this can lead to superficial resolutions or missed opportunities for learning and growth. Furthermore, we introduce the concept of infinite patience. Developing the capacity for infinite patience allows us to maintain a sense of inner calm and resilience in the face of prolonged challenges or uncertainties. Infinite patience produces an immediate result, that is, peace of mind. By embracing the flow of time and relinquishing the need for immediate resolution, we open ourselves up to deeper insights and more effective problem solving. Engage in the process of problem solving with an open mind and a willingness to learn from each experience. We emphasize the importance of self-reflection and the exploration of different perspectives when facing difficulties. By investing time and effort in understanding the underlying causes of problems, we can uncover meaningful solutions and pave the way for personal growth. Peck lays the groundwork for a more thoughtful and deliberate approach to problem solving. By recognizing the role of time in the process and cultivating patience, we gain the ability to navigate challenges with resilience and wisdom. Through this journey of problem solving, we not only find solutions, but also cultivate valuable skills, deepen our understanding of ourselves, and foster personal growth. The Road Less Traveled invites readers to embrace problem solving as an essential aspect of personal development. By embracing time, infinite patience, and a reflective mindset, we can navigate life's challenges with grace and embark on the road less traveled, a path of self-discovery, resilience, and profound growth. In the fifth part, we explore the concept of responsibility and its profound impact on our lives. We emphasize that taking responsibility for our thoughts, actions, and choices is a vital step towards personal growth, fulfillment, and healthy relationships. We highlight the transformative power of accepting responsibility. Responsibility is not about blaming oneself or others, but rather about recognizing the role we play in shaping our lives. By acknowledging our agency and the consequences of our choices, we gain the power to change and shape our future. The author underscores the importance of honesty and integrity in assuming responsibility. Be truthful with yourself and others, as this fosters trust and authenticity in relationships. By owning up to our mistakes and shortcomings, we demonstrate a willingness to learn and grow. Responsibility extends beyond our individual lives. Recognize the interconnectedness of humanity and the impact our actions have on others and the world at large. By embracing responsibility for the well-being of others, we cultivate empathy, compassion, and a sense of community. Delaying gratification is a form of responsibility. Choosing delayed gratification over immediate satisfaction demonstrates a commitment to long-term goals and values. By exercising discipline and making choices that align with our aspirations, 
We take responsibility for shaping our lives in meaningful and fulfilling ways. We have laid the foundation for a more conscious and accountable approach to life. By embracing responsibility, we empower ourselves to create positive change, nurture healthy relationships, and contribute to the betterment of our communities. Embrace responsibility as a transformative force. By taking ownership of our lives, being truthful, and considering the well-being of others, we embark on the road less traveled, a path that leads to personal growth, authentic relationships, and a meaningful existence. In the sixth chapter, we delve into the realm of neuroses and character disorders, shedding light on their impact on our lives and relationships. He explores the significance of understanding and addressing these psychological conditions in order to foster personal growth and well-being. Neuroses and character disorders are psychological conditions that can hinder our ability to lead fulfilling lives. Neuroses encompass maladaptive patterns of thinking and behavior that result in distress and dysfunction. On the other hand, character disorders are deeply ingrained and inflexible traits that shape our interactions with others. Self-awareness is important in recognizing and understanding these conditions within ourselves and others. By gaining insight into the roots and manifestations of neuroses and character disorders, we can foster empathy, compassion, and develop healthier ways of relating. Peck encourages individuals to take responsibility for their psychological well-being and seek appropriate professional help when needed. He highlights that with the right therapeutic support, these conditions can be treated and managed, leading to personal growth and the development of healthier coping mechanisms. Furthermore, Peck explores the impact of neuroses and character disorders on relationships. Untreated psychological issues can create challenges in forming and maintaining healthy connections with others. By addressing these conditions, individuals can cultivate healthier patterns of relating, fostering more authentic and meaningful relationships. Peck invites readers to develop an understanding of neuroses and character disorders as common aspects of the human experience. By acknowledging and addressing these conditions, we can embark on a journey of self-discovery, healing and personal growth. Through self-reflection and therapy, individuals can gain the tools and insights necessary to navigate the challenges presented by these psychological conditions. The Road Less Traveled encourages readers to approach the topic of neuroses and character disorders with compassion and a commitment to their own well-being. By acknowledging these psychological conditions, seeking appropriate support, and embracing self-awareness, we can navigate the complexities they bring and embark on the road less traveled, a path towards greater self-acceptance, healing, and the cultivation of healthier relationships. In the seventh chapter, we delve into the concept of escaping from freedom, exploring the ways in which individuals may attempt to avoid the responsibilities and challenges that come with personal growth. Freedom can be both liberating and daunting. While freedom provides us with the opportunity to shape our lives and make choices aligned with our values, it also requires us to take responsibility for those choices and face the consequences. There are various ways in which individuals may attempt to escape from the demands of freedom. The allure of conforming to societal norms, seeking security in rigid belief systems, and relying on external authorities to make decisions on our behalf. These forms of escape may provide temporary comfort but ultimately hinder personal growth and authenticity. Embrace the challenges and responsibilities that come with freedom. Face your fears, take risks, and make conscious choices that align with your true self. By embracing freedom, rather than seeking to escape from it, individuals can unlock their full potential and find greater fulfillment in their lives. We caution against the illusion of security that comes with surrendering one's freedom. True security and fulfillment are not found in external factors, but rather in the development of inner strength, self-discipline, and the ability to navigate life's uncertainties with resilience and courage. Reflect on your relationship with freedom and the ways in which you may be avoiding its demands. By recognizing and embracing the responsibilities that come with freedom, individuals can embark on the road less traveled, a path of personal growth, authenticity, and the realization of their true potential. The Road Less Traveled encourages readers to confront the allure of escaping from freedom and instead embrace the challenges and opportunities it presents. By taking responsibility for their choices and embracing the inherent uncertainties of life, individuals can forge their own paths, discover their authentic selves, and find true fulfillment on the road less traveled.
The eighth chapter explores the concept of dedication to reality, emphasizing the transformative power of facing the truth of our lives and embracing reality as it truly is. Dedicating ourselves to reality is an essential aspect of personal growth and self-awareness. It involves courageously acknowledging and accepting the realities of our experiences, both positive and negative. By embracing reality, we gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. There is a human tendency to avoid or distort reality through various means such as denial, self-deception, or clinging to illusions. These escape mechanisms may provide temporary comfort, but ultimately hinder our personal growth and prevent us from living authentically. Develop the willingness to confront uncomfortable truths. By accepting reality as it is, we become better equipped to make informed decisions, take responsibility for our actions, and embark on a path of genuine self-discovery and personal transformation. We highlight the importance of integrity and honesty in dedicating ourselves to reality. Be truthful with ourselves and others, as this cultivates trust, authenticity, and meaningful connections. By living in alignment with truth, we develop a sense of integrity and create a solid foundation for personal growth and fulfillment. Reflect on your relationship with reality and the ways in which you may be avoiding or distorting it. By dedicating ourselves to reality, we embark on the road less traveled, a path of self-awareness, authenticity, and the pursuit of genuine fulfillment. Embrace the challenges and truths of life, cultivating the courage to face reality with honesty and integrity. By dedicating ourselves to reality, we gain the clarity and insight necessary for personal growth, meaningful connections, and a more authentic and purposeful existence. In the ninth part, Peck explores the concept of transference and its impact on our perceptions and relationships. Transference occurs when we project our past experiences and emotions onto present situations and individuals, creating an outdated map that influences our perceptions. Transference arises from unresolved emotions and dynamics from our past, particularly from our early relationships and childhood experiences. These unresolved emotions can distort our perceptions and interactions in the present, leading to misunderstandings and relational challenges. Recognize and address transference in order to cultivate healthier relationships and personal growth. By becoming aware of our patterns of transference, we can differentiate between past experiences and present reality. This awareness allows us to respond to situations and individuals in a more objective and authentic manner. Examine your own transference and the ways it influences your relationships. By developing insight into our unconscious biases and projections, we can navigate relationships with greater clarity, empathy, and understanding. Peck highlights the importance of healing past wounds and resolving unresolved emotions that contribute to transference. Through therapy, self-reflection, and personal growth practices, individuals can gradually release the grip of the outdated map and develop healthier ways of relating. Reflect on your own experiences of transference and the impact it has on your perceptions and relationships. By acknowledging and addressing transference, we embark on the road less traveled, a path of self-awareness, emotional healing, and the cultivation of healthier connections. Recognize and work through your patterns of transference allowing you to navigate relationships with greater authenticity and emotional intelligence. By letting go of the outdated map, individuals can forge healthier relationships, overcome relational challenges, and foster personal growth and fulfillment. The 10th chapter explores the concept of openness to challenge and its transformative potential in our lives. It is important to embrace challenges as opportunities for growth, learning, and personal development. Cultivate an attitude of openness curiosity and receptiveness when faced with challenges. It is through these challenges that we have the chance to discover our true capabilities and expand our understanding of ourselves and the world. Being open to challenge requires a willingness to step out of our comfort zones and confront the unknown. It involves embracing uncertainty and being open to new perspectives, even when they may contradict our existing beliefs or ideas. Seek diverse viewpoints and engage in respectful dialogue with others. By actively listening and considering different perspectives, we can broaden our understanding and deepen our empathy and compassion. Resilience is very significant in the face of challenges. Persevere and learn from setbacks, rather than being discouraged or avoiding difficult situations. Through resilience, we develop the strength and adaptability needed to navigate life's obstacles. 
Reflect on your willingness to embrace challenges and the opportunities they present. By cultivating openness to challenge, individuals embark on the road less traveled, a path of continuous growth, self-discovery, and personal transformation. The road less traveled encourages readers to embrace challenges as stepping stones to personal development. By adopting an attitude of openness, receptiveness, and resilience, individuals can expand their horizons, develop new skills, and find deeper meaning and fulfillment in their lives. The 11th chapter delves into the concept of withholding truth and its impact on our personal growth and relationships. He explores the importance of honesty, integrity, and the willingness to communicate openly and authentically with others. Withholding truth involves refraining from expressing our genuine thoughts, feelings, and experiences. This can occur due to fear of rejection, conflict, or discomfort. However, withholding truth can hinder our personal growth and create barriers to meaningful connections. Honest communication is crucial for fostering genuine relationships and personal development. By speaking truthfully and authentically, we create an atmosphere of trust and openness that allows for deeper connections and mutual understanding. Sharing truth requires vulnerability and courage. It involves being willing to express our true selves, even when it may be uncomfortable or challenging. By doing so, we invite others to do the same, promoting an environment of authenticity and growth. Examine your own tendencies to withhold truth and the underlying fears or insecurities that drive this behavior. By exploring these patterns and addressing the root causes, individuals can foster self-awareness and work towards more open and honest communication. Reflect on your own experiences with withholding truth and the impact it has on your relationships. By embracing a commitment to truthfulness, individuals embark on the road less traveled, a path of authenticity, vulnerability, and the cultivation of deeper connections. The book encourages readers to prioritize honest and open communication as a means of personal growth and fostering meaningful relationships. By embracing the courage to express truth and encouraging others to do the same, individuals can build foundations of trust, foster personal development, and experience richer, more authentic connections with others. The 12th chapter explores the concept of balancing and its significance in our lives. Find equilibrium and harmony in various aspects of life to foster personal growth and well-being. Balance involves finding a middle ground between extremes. It requires us to navigate the complexities of life by making conscious choices that align with our values and priorities. By striking a balance, we can lead more fulfilling and meaningful lives. Balance is crucial in work and leisure, solitude and social connection, and giving and receiving. Reflect on your own lives and examine areas where you may be out of balance. By recognizing these imbalances, we can make intentional adjustments to create a more harmonious and fulfilling existence. Self-care and self-awareness are crucial in achieving balance. Listen to your physical, mental, and emotional needs and nurturing yourself to maintain a sense of equilibrium. By attending to our own well-being, we can show up more fully and authentically in our relationships and pursuits. Peck explores the concept of balance in relationships, emphasizing the importance of reciprocity and mutual respect cultivate healthy boundaries, and to give and receive in a balanced manner. By nurturing balanced relationships, we create a supportive and nurturing environment that promotes personal growth and well-being. Reflect on your own lives and consider areas where you may need to find greater balance. By seeking equilibrium in various aspects of life, individuals embark on the road less traveled, a path of personal growth, fulfillment, and a more harmonious existence. This book encourages readers to prioritize balance as a means of cultivating well-being and personal growth. By finding equilibrium between different aspects of life and honoring our own needs, we create a foundation for resilience, authenticity, and a more meaningful and balanced existence. In the 13th chapter, we explore the concept of the healthiness of depression, shedding light on the potential benefits and insights that can emerge from experiencing and navigating periods of depression in our lives. Depression is not solely a negative and debilitating state. Depression can serve as a catalyst for personal growth and self-reflection. It provides an opportunity to delve deeper into our emotions, thoughts, and the underlying causes of our pain. Depression can be a natural response to significant life challenges, losses, or transitions. It signals a need for reflection, 
introspection, and reevaluation of our lives. By engaging with depression rather than suppressing or avoiding it, we can gain valuable insights and initiate transformative changes. Experiencing and working through depression requires courage and support. Seek professional help, engage in self-care practices, and reach out to loved ones for assistance. By navigating depression in a healthy and supported manner, individuals can emerge stronger, wiser, and more resilient. You must distinguish between healthy depression and clinical depression. While healthy depression can offer opportunities for growth, clinical depression often requires professional intervention and treatment. It is essential to seek appropriate help when depression becomes overwhelming or persists for an extended period. Reconsider your perspectives on depression, embracing the potential for growth and self-discovery within it. By acknowledging the healthiness of depression and engaging with it in a supportive and constructive manner, individuals embark on the road less traveled, a path of personal insight, healing, and resilience. The road less traveled encourages readers to approach depression as an opportunity for self-reflection and transformation. By engaging with depression in a healthy and supported way, individuals can navigate their emotional landscape, gain valuable insights, and ultimately emerge with a deeper understanding of themselves and a greater capacity for personal growth and well-being. The last chapter of Section 1 explores the concepts of renunciation and rebirth, highlighting their significance in the process of personal growth and transformation. Letting go of attachments and embracing change can lead to profound renewal and a deeper sense of self. Renunciation involves relinquishing attachments to beliefs, behaviors, and relationships that no longer serve our well-being and growth. It requires us to examine our lives and let go of patterns and attachments that hinder our personal development. Through renunciation, we create space for new possibilities and growth. Rebirth is the result of renunciation. When we release what no longer aligns with our true selves, we open ourselves up to a process of transformation and renewal. By embracing change and willingly stepping into the unknown, we allow ourselves to evolve into a more authentic version of who we are. Renunciation and rebirth require courage and self-reflection. They often involve facing discomfort and uncertainty as we detach from familiar aspects of our lives. However, through this process, we discover new depths of resilience, self-discovery, and personal fulfillment. Embrace the journey of renunciation and rebirth as an ongoing process rather than a one-time event. Continually reassess your life, identifying areas that call for letting go and embracing change. By engaging in this continuous cycle, we nurture a lifelong journey of personal growth and transformation. Reflect on your own attachments and the potential for renewal through renunciation. By embracing the process of letting go and opening ourselves up to the possibilities of rebirth, we embark on the road less traveled, a path of personal evolution, self-discovery, and the cultivation of a more authentic and fulfilling existence. Section 1 encourages readers to embrace the transformative power of renunciation and rebirth. By releasing attachments, embracing change, and continuously engaging in the process of personal growth, individuals can experience profound renewal, deep self-understanding, and an enriched life journey. 